now we're going to discuss a couple of trailers mm-hmm. that uh, we, I think, lo- I think like a lot. Uh, at least the first one uh, I'm, I'm going to discuss here with you is uh, Dream Scenario. Okay. Um, because that looks incredible. Does look incredible. Yeah. I was... So the trailer came out. I was a little worried at first because I was like, ah, this looks like a like a faux kind of biopic looks kind of light. And I'm just like, yeah, OK, this will be this will be like a little goofy fun time. But then like the trailer progressed and like and, and I'm wondering what part it was. Well, it was it was the tone shift. Mm. It was it was the tone shift to this isn't a fun time for me. This is horrifying. And and his life has turned into a nightmare. Uh, I guess we should preface the the, the plot of this. I sure. guess is that uh, it stars Nicolas Cage, and basically A24. he he starts appearing in everyone's dreams around the world, and he becomes this instant celebrity overnight. Yeah, and and yeah, basically at first it seems like it's like a harmless yeah, little it's a like fun oh, little, this is kind of like fun, right? I'm, right. All his friends are talking about it, and everyone are he you meets having is, dreams about me? <laughs> I love that line. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it seems like a little harmless fun movie. And then yeah, it gets it gets real where like his wife is embarrassed to like leave the house it seems like with him and and like you know, he's he's getting like hunted down and people are impersonating mm-hmm. him and I mean it looks so intense and I love that. Um but yeah, yeah, let me know what you're thinking. I yeah, I mean everything that that you were saying like I also thought that this was just like kind of a whimsical sort of there was obviously something to do with fame Mm -hmm. and something to do with feeling like maybe like a nobody and then you're a somebody and what does that do to your interpersonal relationships yeah yeah, it was kind of like a cool concept like what if you're in everybody's dreams right but then there was that tone shift where it was like well, I'm not really hurting anybody. And then you'd see him in dreams. I was like, well, you're like, yeah, because then mean, you start, because it seems like maybe all the dreams at one point, like or, or he's just, he's just in them at some point, but then, and uh, they're that, like, oh, this is kind of strange. Like right. something like a, like early days internet, you would see something and yeah. you'd be like, oh, we're all seeing this thing. That's right. kind of weird. And then you would talk about it and be kind of like a fun thing. But then it's like, this is as it yeah as it progresses like getting darker it's like more violent and like scary yeah. and and so yeah i mean maybe if you're being driven insane you would go out and hunt down this man who's haunting your dreams or or also you become famous and you're you're in per you're you have people impersonating you wanting to sure. be you sure they've they've emotionally locked into to, to, to you in their lives. Yeah. There's a very personal thing of, of, of being in a dream. Yeah. Um, which I think it has a lot, it'll probably have a lot of social commentary going sure, on in this sure. movie. I didn't even think about the social commentary of it, but that's, it's such a neat little aspect. Yeah. 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 And I think Nicholas Cage seems great. Oh it my seems gosh. like he's having a I, fun time. It, he almost like, yes, I, of course I can see that's Nicholas Cage, but like he feels like this nobody college professor. Like I really buy it. And, and I feel like a lot of his roles, maybe, maybe not a lot, but some roles I maybe don't necessarily buy it's him. Like it's cause it's so Nicholas Cage to me, but yeah, yeah, no, I didn't have a problem with it at all. And I, and I kind of love that the fact that he's like, this is an A24 film. I like, you know, obviously they film, so well over there and and i'm happy he's getting to do a a very like serious and kind of creepy and artsy film and it's yeah i don't know it's super exciting yeah yeah um i'm just really excited to see it and i'm really excited that a lot of people seem to be really excited excited about about it. it yeah um and i i could have easily uh been into this movie even without the tone shift like even before that, yeah, I was very interested in seeing a, a movie think, about just this really fantastical thing happen, mm-hmm. uh, where it, it like he's he's just dealing with this thing and and it and it felt like at the base of it was just what if a nobody becomes a somebody and what does that yeah. do? But then it's now it's all this other stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess for me, it's like. My my interest jumped like twice as much as it as it would have if I didn't have that tone shift. Um, I think I think it would have even been a movie that like 
I, I know I like I had I had said I would see like certain movies this year and then I just didn't get to get around to it. That might have been one of them because it just it wasn't like super interesting until like he had to deal with all sides of of this fame, I guess, that he mm-hmm. that he received. So um very happy it 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 went in that plot direction. Um, do you remember when it said it would release? No, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a 24. So even if the strikes keep going, we can get to, mm-hmm. we can get to see it without a delay. Um, props to a 24. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I think we both were really, really hyped about this. Yeah. Yeah. 